I like video games, and I play them a lot. They allow me to live vicariously through beautiful people who are much better than me at almost everything, including shooting a dog. Fun! See, there are some things I love to experience in video games. Running an empire, stacking blocks in a house and or penis shape, sometimes even a house in the shape of a penis, or even controlling a petal. But it's the stuff that makes your skin crawl a little that we're going to discuss today. Also spoilers. Look out. With that in mind, I'm Ben from What Culture, and here are eight awful things video games forced you to do. Number eight, Trevor's torture scene, Grand Theft Auto V. Trevor's a wonderful guy, hmm? In one of his very first scenes, we see him heartily complaining that he's got a bit of someone's brain on his shoe after stamping on their head until they die. He's well, mentally, doing just fine. Then, later on, he tortures someone because of course he does. It's literally set up as some sort of torture porn scenario with a menagerie of implements you can pick up to bludgeon the hapless victim tied to the chair in front of you. While the game does try to make a comment on American politics by noting the information you're getting is useless due to the circumstances, I'd rather not have done that, thank you. Number seven, mutilate yourself or abandon your son. Heavy rain. Yeah, what are you gonna do, rubbish father? You know they're laughing at you, right? The other dads? They huddle around and they call you a shit dad for wankers. Hashtag shit dad for wankers. Huh? Such a rubbish dad. Look at you. All fingers and thumbs intact. Fingers and thumbs you'll probably use to disappoint your child again. Hmm? Heavy Rain was full of challenging dilemmas, and while it's easy to distance yourself and think, this will end the game unsatisfyingly if I don't go through with it, choosing to lop off one of your digits to save your son was not for the faint of heart. You even got to choose from the various tools at your disposal. And if you went for the saw, you should be locked up. Number six, throw a baby in an oven. The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Hey, that's a disturbing proposition, isn't it? Well, don't worry. The baby was actually a possessed demon baby, Witcher stuff, who doesn't have the same rights as a normal baby, so it's fine. The possession quest features a being that feasts on the minds of those who feel immense guilt. Now, you can't just pretend you feel guilty about something, it has to be real. And so, for Scarface McWhitehair to lure the thing out, he's asked to throw a baby in a furnace. Worst thing about this is that the game only gives you a small time window to decide, but when all said and done, it's revealed that the child would have survived anyway, thanks to another door in the oven. Don't try this at home. Number five, sacrifice the human race so you can be happy. The Last of Us. Many of The Last of Us's accolades came from the close of the game, where upon realizing his companion Ellie must be killed in order to extract the tissue for a cure, Joel goes a little kill-happy. After mowing through a ton of Firefly security, who are mostly freedom fighters trying to develop a cure for mankind, you come face to face with the surgeons prepping Ellie for her end. There's then no choice other than turning the game off, as walking up to them sees Joel butcher the main doctor with a scalpel before scooping Ellie up and making for the nearest exit. It's easily one of the most monumental endings of all time, where a now-conscious Ellie gets lied to in order to maintain Joel's relative innocence, all for the sake of putting the solution for his own loneliness above the salvation of the human race. Ugh. Number four, sleep with a prisoner's wife, then kill him. God of War 3. Kratos is an absolute dick, the god of dick, if you will. In God of War 3, he's so completely consumed by revenge that it blinds him to everything other than taking down Zeus, a notion that's proven accurate when you find Aphrodite and her husband, Hephaestus. First, you'll meet up with Aphrodite in all her topless glory. Nice! Before sleeping with her in an instant. Dick! But it's after this that you have dealings with her husband, Hephaestus, who's in chains and in store for a life of torture thanks to Kratos' actions in the second game. Dick. Hephaestus explains that he just wants to see his wife and daughter again, to which Kratos callously casts off any empathy, despite he himself losing a daughter. Dick. Then a boss fight ensues as the craftsman clearly doesn't trust the god of war, and he ends up getting killed because of it, crying as his final breaths leave him. I mean, Jesus, what a dick. Number three, stab your only companion to death, The Walking Dead. Telltale's Walking Dead series is infamous for the horrifying choices you have to make, but for animal lovers, it'll be the first episode of season two that's the most traumatic, being forced to stab a dog to death. 
Now, the whole thing is an act of self-preservation and both parties' own survival instincts, with the dog literally going feral at the sight of food, but it's the severity of how the scene goes from a nice relaxing moment of Clem trying to feed her newfound friend to having to grab a blade and fight for her life that makes it so awful. It'll not only make you jump, but sees you mash the buttons with the same ferocity as the on-screen animations, and when it's all over, you'll probably have an overwhelming urge to donate to a dog charity. Number two, taking part in a terrorist attack. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Hey, look, it's no Russian again. I bet you're sick of having this one appear in yet another one of our list videos, hmm? Well, sorry everyone, but I shouldn't have to tell you quite how awful it is to take part in a terrorist attack. It deserves to be here. There's no morality system or repercussion for taking part in slaughtering the innocent, unarmed civilians, so the story plays out the same and so do the animations around you, ultimately meaning that you're just denying yourself content if you don't shoot. Video games are weird. Number 1. Accidentally deploying white phosphorus on innocent people. Spec Ops The Line to be fair to Spec Ops The Line, we could easily make a list video about all the awful things you do in it, but this is perhaps the most upsetting. As you're trying to work out a way to deal with an entire forecourt of soldiers, your teammates eye a mortar that'll deploy white phosphorus from above. Reservations are mentioned from your fellow soldiers as to just how inhumane this stuff is, but then you hop into the viewfinder and start using the thermal indicator to find where the enemy patrols are regardless. You kill off a few before finding a larger group of icons together, to which your inbuilt, ooh, I can kill loads of them at once, reaction triggers in, and you wipe the whole area out. Except, they weren't enemy soldiers. They were hostages, huddling together to stay out of the line of your fire. The game plays on the effect of this massively for its final reveal, and the descent into madness the main character slowly falls into, but it's this reversal of expectation that'll stick with you forever. You dick. And that's our list! Are there any awful things we missed off? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can even follow me here on Twitter if you fancy. I'm Ben from What Culture, and thanks for watching.